Good morning, everybody. Today is another beautiful Monday. Um, the nice thing about California is that even in November, the days are not too chilly, um, which is definitely one of the main reasons I like to be here. But yeah, just on my way to work, I'm taking kind of a detour. Just I, I know that this area is a little bit more quiet than the main street where all the where all the construction is going on. So. Yeah, it's gonna take me like an extra four minutes, but whatever. Today, I thought I would talk about a question that I get kind of often, and it's it's kind of an important one because it's kind of fundamental to um, anyone who wants to become a software engineer, and that's how do you actually get better at programming? What I found for most beginners, and myself included, when I was first starting, I remember feeling kind of stuck. There was, you know, in the beginning you follow some tutorials and then you, you get to a certain point where you're like, oh man, I think I kind of know how to program. But at the same time, you can't really, like once you leave that tutorial, you can't really make anything on your own. You just end up Googling and then you kind of often don't know what to Google. So that's kind of like a very common place where most people will like stop learning or give up on programming. It's this phase where they're better, they know more than like most tutorials can teach them, but they don't know enough to take it to the next level. So today I'm gonna be talking about how you can address that particular problem. So tip number one is probably one of the most hardest things to do, but it's essentially to pick one thing and stick with it for a very long time. So for me, when I was first starting out, I kind of made a mistake of where I ping pong between different languages. So I actually started learning uh, Java first, and I, I thought I was going to do Android like my friends. But for some reason, I couldn't really, you know, comprehend Java at the time. So I I did Swift. Uh, Swift seemed a little bit easier, and I, you know, I started making iOS apps instead of Android apps. And I shipped my first product and everything, but then for some reason I decided that I wanted to go into web. Um, I, I think my justification was that I was starting to look into boot camps. Like all the boot camps that seemed legitimate were in web. So I learned Ruby, applied to boot camps, got in, learned JavaScript as well. So I, I kind of had to like keep ping ponging, and it took me a lot longer if I just stuck with one thing from the beginning. And I, I'll tell you now, this is really hard because. The thing about programming and this like industry in general is there's so much to learn and there's so many interesting and cool things. Um, and it's kind of a shame, but a lot of these interesting projects are kind of behind, like it's kind of, there's some barriers to entry. Like, I don't know, if you wanted to do some deep like machine learning things, then you might need to learn Python or R or you know, Scala or something like that. There's like all these, uh, you know, it's, it would be great if you could do everything in one language, but oftentimes some of the more interesting projects are, you know, hidden behind something. Like for example, let's say that you want to learn Flutter, which is, you know, Google's answer to React Native. Uh, you need to learn their programming language called Dart, for example. But yeah, those are just kind of like small examples. Uh, but in regards to learning how to program and getting really, getting a lot better you really 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 need to just focus and spend your time on one language get all those people on board alright off work and back home uh, I thought I would continue this vlog tip number two which is essentially working on fundamentals so often time when you're starting out programming there's all these like cool cool things there's all these like different topics and frameworks to learn things like that but what's more important is learning kind of your fundamentals and uh, not skipping over things just because you got something to just work right so the hardest thing to do is being curious enough about 
the fundamental underlying like raw engineering practices like the computer science stuff and that's what will really get you to like kind of the next step to like really have mastery over something that you're learning uh, don't skip over things haphazardly because you were able to you know copy paste some code and get something to work uh, you know try to truly understand the fundamental like underlinings of the things that you're working on you know uh, some examples would be understanding like data types, uh, modeling, some design patterns like MVC or object oriented programming or functional programming. Like having an understanding of why they exist will definitely guide you to uh, becoming a better engineer much faster. So I just got off BART, walking home now. So before I used to live pretty far from BART, but now I can walk home, which is definitely a game changer, I would say. It's yeah, there's just a, there's something always about the last like 20 minute drive that I had to do for my commute that used to really like destroy me uh, and I always dreaded that particular drive but now I just walk so it's not as bad. Tip number three is essentially to work on projects. Working on a project takes a lot of effort and kind of a lot of discipline. The, the key thing here is not only working on a project but working on it till completion so whatever task that you do let's say you're building like a calculator app make sure you build it completely uh, and be able to ship it where some someone could kind of look at it or play around with it the reason why this is so important this like thought of being able to finish the entire task completely and to be able to shipping uh, to ship your product is uh, a lot of tutorials that you'll follow will only cover like the zero to eighty percent where you're kind of bootstrapping some new project and they're just going over like kind of the basics and that's like ninety percent of tutorials and they rarely go really deep and the issue that you'll fall into is if you only just follow tutorials is you'll only know how to do like the very beginnings of a project but you'll never get the hands-on experience of finishing something and shipping it and I say that oftentimes you learn like the most when you're exercising that last 20% of a project or solving problems through those um, through those last 20% because those are the percentage where you'll rarely have opportunities to actually do those kind of tasks that are involved um, that maybe for like a website we'll be deploying it making sure it has um, proper um, CSS for you know mobile friendly responsive design and just there's a whole gamut of things that come up when you're trying to get it ready for someone else some like user to use and you'll never experience that if you just you know start like a new project every other day so that's tip number three I think um, finish a project completely and work on projects specifically oh one nice added benefit of working on projects to completion is you could add that to your resume and because you've worked on making it available for everyone like shipping and deploying that code um, people can easily check out that piece of work that you did easily uh, a lot of times like people have these like projects where it's just like a git repository with like a bad readme and they just expect um, like potential hires to download that uh, code base and run it locally that's never gonna happen like it's really rare that that will actually happen so it's like really good for you personally uh, if you're trying to get into this industry is to deploy that piece of code and make it really easy for someone who's looking at your work uh, to consume that like kind of content and get a better idea of who you are as an engineer the lighting is really beautiful right now so let's move on to tip number four and this one is kind of uh, something that I think is probably the most important out of all of the tips that I could give you and it's kind of obvious but I thought uh, I should reiterate it and the tip is to practice a lot and consistently uh, I think uh, consistency is the big key uh, driving factor here but one thing for me is when I was learning how to program, I did this challenge called the 100, 100 days commit where you just you know, get in this habit of doing one small commit every day. Um, <laughs> to be fair, like when I was doing this challenge, some commits were kind of like BS where I didn't, <laughs> it was just like making like one small edit on a document file or something like that or deleting a file or something like that. And, yeah, it's, but the thing is, the point is, is 
for you it's the commit is not it, the content of the commit is not really what's important but it's that act it's the act of simply opening up being, opening your computer up or your laptop up and then making and you know giving yourself time to think through problems and you know get used to the command line and all these things that come with like becoming a software engineer you just you know make it more second nature and the more you do this the easier you'll find uh, that you'll be able to solve new problems without having to google everything and just overall it's a good uh, habit to form just you know when you're learning be diligent you know sit down and show up every day and program um, it's it's kind of hard to it's kind of sucks because like a lot of people just want to casually learn how to program and yeah you could kind of do that but they I, I would like to say that there is this barrier where you're learning a lot you're learning a lot and then you kind of like um, stop and this is when like tutorials can't really help you this is like the point where tutorials get you so far and you don't know what to do afterwards right I've done this so many times where I follow some tutorials and I'm like okay now what right um, but if you do these like tips that I was telling you about and then you know consistently show up and practice and that's the best way to get better quickly so yeah I hope you guys enjoy these tips and um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.